it's Josh Hewitt from Top Form Fitness. Once again, it is time to do it with Hewitt. I'm at the London Championships today, working the booth for SD Pharmaceuticals. And I've been at a few of these shows this month, and I've become inspired to try my hand in competition. decided tentatively to compete next year in physique. I'll be in the master's class. This is getting way out of my comfort zone. I've never done a physique competition, uh, but I'm going to try one early next year. So we're looking at March or April. We'll see what's up. Nothing's posted yet. So wish me luck for that. What I'll be doing is starting a series, a video series, where I'm going to document sort of my preparation, my progress as I prepare for that show. Uh, so my diet, uh, the nutrition plans I'm following, what supplements I'm using, the training that I'm using, uh, and talking to a lot of the other people who are professionals who are competing, getting some tips from them along the way. So stay tuned for that. Be a lot of great information coming up related to my prep for this physique competition, and we'll see how I do. So later in the show today, I'm going to interview some of the guys who are competing, get some tips from them, what they can suggest for someone getting into physique for the first time. I'm here with Michael Price, men's physique competitor. Good. Michael, what tips or advice would you give someone who wants to get in physique their first time ever? Uh, the biggest tip I would tell all you guys, especially the young guys, the category is men's physique, the key word being physique. But this is a lot more than just what you look like physically. Make sure to work on your posing, work on your smile, work on your transitions. This is a whole package deal. You can have the best build in the world. If you don't know how to show it, it's never going to get recognized. So make sure you put together your best, come with your best on all facets of this game. I'd say uh, the number one thing is going to be diet. So get yourself a nutritionist or do the research yourself. But if your diet isn't on point, the physique's not going to come through no matter how much work you put in. So, so you, it's key. So you're saying you can't out-train a bad diet? You cannot out-train a bad uh, diet. Rob, what sort of advice would you give someone, a newbie, who wants to get into physique? Um, first thing I'd say is find yourself a personal trainer. Uh, it's really hard to do it by yourself. Kevin, what would you, uh, what advice would you offer to someone getting into the sport for the first time? First, if you're going to go into the sport, you got to have fun. First uh -huh. of all, that's the most important and know what you want to accomplish. Once you do that, everything is easier. It gets easier. That's great advice. Yeah, because a lot of people take this real serious and they get all like stressed out about it. You're saying that's not the way to approach this game, right? No. The pro is just enjoy the process. Awesome. That's the key. If you don't enjoy the process, then it's not going to work. Listen, what advice would you give someone who wants to get a physique first time? You got to make uh, make great eating choices and just make it a lifestyle. You got to stick to your carbs, stick to your proteins, and listen to your coach. 110%. I'm here with Joe, men's physique competitor. Joe, listen, you had a really good piece of advice. You want to share that with our viewers? Yeah. Um, when it comes to the men's physique category, make sure you learn your mandatory poses. Mm -hmm. Learn where your hand placement is supposed to be. Um, go to the OPA um, posing workshops, really important. You get to meet a lot of the judges and they'll give you tips. They'll basically assess your physique there and give you the posing tips you need to learn. Um, once Practice, practice, practice. Do it over and over again until it comes naturally. Mm -hmm. And then um, add your own flair to it. And cool. always make sure that you smile. That's the biggest thing that I see a lot is people forget to smile. One of the biggest things that helped me is videotape yourself. Because doing it in the mirror is a lot different than when you're actually doing it in front of a camera and watching it. Because when you're in the mirror, you can you can see what you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. you, know, you know what you're doing, but when you are on stage, um, sometimes your shoulders up, you know, too high. Your lats, you know, you're not expanding your lats. And you don't have the it. visual your cues hands, of the mirror. Exactly, to, you don't yeah. have the visual keys. Exactly. Matthew, what advice would you give to somebody that wants to get into physique? I would say get into your first competition as soon as possible. Reason being is it's really going to push you in the gym. You're never going to be satisfied with how you look. You're always going to say, you know what, maybe next year. Maybe next year. you got to get on stage, get the feeling of it, lose, so you can really have that drive to come on stage and show, you, show yourself what you can really do. That's I awesome do advice because a lot of guys are like, oh, I'll compete once I'm perfect. Exactly. And they never get it there. It never happens. Okay, it's a wrap. The day is done. It was pretty cool talking to all the different physique athletes. Got some great tips. I have a lot of work to do. I'm going to show you a quick clip from when I started my cut just a few weeks ago so you can see where I'm starting from. Okay, so I recently finished my bulking phase. I put on a few pounds, some of it good, some of it not so good. And over the last three or four weeks, I've been starting my cutting phase. 
I did take a before picture three or four weeks ago, but I thought it was a good idea to take some video footage as well. So I'll start with uh, the date so we know when this video was taken. Oh, Saturday, September 26th. So here's where I'm at so far. I put on a few pounds of muscle uh, across the upper body especially, uh, but along the way I also gained a noticeable amount of body fat, especially right here. As you can see, the love handles and uh, the back, pretty disgusting, and it softened up a lot around here. Anyway, this is where I'm starting off at. I'll be taking pictures and videos of my progress along the way. Wish me luck. So as you can see, I've got my work cut out for me, but I'm looking forward to the process. I'm gonna share with you my journey along the way, so stay tuned for that. And until next time, stay strong. Stay strong.